Hello and welcome back to Battletech, our extended 3049 Arano Restoration campaign playthrough. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. So we are continuing our journey and we're going to take on Benefactor. So we do have to travel. So we're going to start Benefactor in orbit over Bellifron. Mr. Oliviera, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I am Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Kenobian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander Coast? Uh, my interest, sure, but I need to hear details before I'm willing to commit to anything. Of course, Commander Coast, I expect nothing less. The job I have for you is relatively simple. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. A fair deal, wouldn't you say? Well, that depends on what you want us to do. How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us where we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to be recovering. This. So we have an image of an old grounded dropship that's enormous. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Axelus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you're going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Verdinen. I have engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for, waiting for you on Alloway. It will carry you to the pirate moon where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict and you'll protect them until the work is done. This should be well within your capabilities, Commander Coast, unless I've come to the wrong place. A Regan soldier, you came to the right company, Lady Centrella. During my tour in the Regan military, I tangled with more pirates than I can count. Then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there will be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Oliviera will never will never find you a better opportunity than the one I'm offering. Commander Coast, I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Jack. We're looking for a lifeline, and I think this is as close as we're going to get. Okay, Lady Centrella, you got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll forward your contract to Mr. Oliviera. Uh, we've heard stories of your exploits on the battlefield, Commander Coast. Your reputation as a soldier is well known within the magistracy. Let's hope that you live up to it. I thought I was like an unremarkable soldier, but we'll take the compliment. Uh, contract is ready and waiting. Commander. So, Axelus. This will be our priority mission. Fire so, man. we can't negotiate terms, but we get 1.1 million sea bills. That's like five contracts and three out of 12 salvage. So, okay, you've repaired everything. So, I'm actually going to be smart about this. We do have one open spot. Okay, good. We just want to make sure we have an open spot, and you're going to see why. Just wanted to make sure we actually have that open spot, because at the end of this, we will ideally receive another mech. Extension. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks, where you find Medusa disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. As reasonable as this sounds, the banks, are gonna, are, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. All right, we're going to do Medusa Technician because we don't want to spend money. And Medusa did a great job and basically um, created more space for himself while also saving us 100 grand. Seems like a lot to remo like, remove a panel. But uh, what do I know? Now... If we successfully pull this off, we'll have more breathing room, and 
we'll also have the opportunity to travel further. All right, we're almost back to where we started. Not yet. So the reason we're selecting not yet is we just wanted to make sure everyone's healed up. You don't see any Ronins. They're very rare. So like, we might never see a Ronin, but we're going to check every single time. Oh, hell yes. The Rifleman. This is just mixed salvage parts. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Wolverine. Ostrock, pretty good overall. Uh, but Rifleman, this is basically an upgraded upgraded blackjack. But uh, without jump jet capabilities. Although I think we could probably put jump jets on them. Alright, we're just looking for plus plus weapons. We don't have any. Let's We're saving Decker for this one. Order. Um, yeah, we don't get that indirect fire penalty reduction yet. I think that's at four. So we're going to save for sure footing. Basically, um, gain one bonus evasion charge after moving can exceed the unit's maximum. So we're just going to make her more evasive. Always good to see you in and then we, we probably will go cooling vent on her. We'll see. I'm setting a course for Lady Centella jump ship. It's strange though, this moon it's taking to us axless doesn't appear on any of my maps, which leads me to wonder where exactly are we going and how do we intend and how do they intend to get us there? Several hours later, that was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards use a pirate jump pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffered a misjump, our sour stomachs would be the least of your concerns. The leopard could have gone irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were stuff of nightmares. When exactly did you realize that's what Centrella jump ship crew was planning on doing? As we were on our approach to dock with a jump ship, it was way out of position to use any legitimate jump point. Putting two and two together, I could guess at what they were going to do. Here's the million seabill question, nightmare. Why didn't you say anything about this before we jumped? Because it wouldn't have mattered if I had. We couldn't afford to turn this down this job. Give me, given the situation, I figured that ignorance was probably bliss. We'll talk about this later, later, Meyer. But for now, what's done is done. We're here, and there's money to be made. Let's focus on the task at hand. The Argos crash head is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. Her gang is the closest thing that Axis has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think that Axelus gets a lot of visitors. They have strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. So the fire set vehicles and turrets, maybe a few battle mechs got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar-guided anti-aircraft guns. The first task will be to take down the radar tower so that Sumeri can approach the derelict. After you've secured the crash site, we'll dock, she'll dock with the Argo and then, excuse me, and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200-year-old wreck flying again. Lady Centrella has bet a massive sack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull it off. I've never heard of Dr. Farah Murad before Lady Centrella mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth. The doc has quite a reputation, supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wunderkind, and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. Rimworld Periphery. Periphery ingenuity at work, huh? Can't wait to see the, this Dr. Murad in action. Soon enough, we're going to get that chance. Hopefully your skills are everything they've they're cracked up to be good hunting jack i'll be keeping an eye on you from up here okay so definitely prefer the spider over the locust it has slightly more armor and i like the jump jet capability So the mechs we are looking at, the Ostrock and Rifleman, I actually don't know if we can attach um, jump jets to them, but we'll see. I like the Rifleman, it's, it's effectively a more efficient blackjack, a little heavier, a little less mobile. 
if it if we couldn't if we can't put jump jets on it i actually don't know if it's that much better but you could do a lot of dual ac5s and other fun stuff on the rifleman so three objectives destroy the radar tower to bring down grim sybil's anti-aircraft guns proceed to the argos crash site and defend against grim sybil's pirates while dr Murad's team restores power to the derelict Self-appointed Bandit Queen has taken possession of the Argo, a derelict dropship and relic of the Sarli Gera. We believe that it belongs to in more suitable hands, namely ours. We will drop on Axelis, shut down the pirate's anti-aircraft capabilities, and hold out while our engineers bring the Argo back to life. This seems straightforward enough, but be careful, Jack. We don't know for sure what you're going to find on that moon, and we've had enough surprises already. Yes, we had, namely a Shadowhawk punching out an arm on her blackjack. That was not expected and not fun. But uh, we managed to do okay. So, hopefully we can start here. It's taking a little longer to load. I, I did some digging on load times and mods. And actually from posts, so this isn't scientific this is anecdotal um people actually find that rogue tech takes the longest to load and that's because you're basically loading a different game like i i enjoy rogue tech my biggest complaint is that missions take forever because they're just so darn difficult so it's fun but like trying to play a full campaign gets exhausting because it takes so many hours and then the repetition just kind of wears you down but they have so many cool things in there uh, especially VTOLs, which are awesome. Welcome to Axelis, Commander. It's every bit as charming as you expect a pirate-occupied moon to be. You'll find Grim Sybil's radar station just ahead. Defense is appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles for the time being, at least. We know that Grim Sybil has at least one lance of battle mech, so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate's turrets. As you make your way into the base, they pack a nasty punch. We can also sensor lock your mechs. Aim for the turret generator. That'll be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. After the pirates' radar stations are down, you'll be clear to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting, Commander. Knock out the radar cover, crush any pirate resistance, and secure us the, that derelict. It's in the background there. You can see it. Um, Okay, so we're going to kind of... On my way. Sprint over Copy here. That. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. Just kind of getting into position here. Trying to waiting for orders. Pedal to the metal. Okay, so we're gonna reserve down. I'll wait here. Order. And we're jumping no, no. in. Wake up, you idiot. We've got company. Driving giant battle mechs. Ooh, we took damage. You just shot one of our own guys. Get out there and fight. Affirmative. So our goal here take out the turrets. Brought it down, Commander. Well done, sir. Okay, so we I hear ya. can get a shot from here. Uh -huh. So let's nice hit on the side. Shadow Coast. Jump 
Nope. So we're not close enough for our medium lasers. We'll shoot this thing. Alright, there's another oh miss. Standing by. Position confirmed. Um No, we're not gonna waste AC ammo. Especially when we can just kinda jump you up there. Why don't you brace? Okay, so I knew there was going to be other enemies here. So we're going to save our AC ammo. Alright, Decker can finish that off. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're just kind of getting into position yeah. here. And getting into position again. Holding for the right opportunity. Standing by. Waiting for orders. Should be safe up here. And that's coming down, so we have to take out one more radio tower and then we'll progress. So we're at uh, greater than 50% uh, resolve. So you get plus one accuracy, which is super nice. Let's come here. And we missed, so we just wasted some ammo there. AC twos. Oh, well done, Shadow. Enemy unit we have this other guy coming in, but uh, as we try to kind of position for him, we'll just take this out, or maybe we won't. Ooh, we. Unnecessary damage. I would prefer Okay, we were hoping to What's up, boss? The, the reason we're jumping back here is we want to try to... Aw, oh man. I was hoping we could take him out. I hear ya. We'll focus, focus him down with Glitch. You like that? Commander. And you're just going to sprint up. Can you fire one? Yes, you can. I think that, I can't tell if that was a miss or hit. So again, the Vindy has like reduced angling, so we have to be very, very careful when we, all right, Commander, hey, guns are down for now. Get to the crash site, secure the area. So we will. All right, let's vent some heat. We want to be nice and cool before we break into here, uh -huh. which we will be because Affirmative. Shadow Coast doesn't really have the range. Moving out. Moving to position. Moving out.
Okay, so... Crash out of secure simulator, you gotta clear. Watch yourself, Commander, I'm coming in hot. All right, Sumeyer, Dr. Farah Murad, and, and you can get this heap of junk up and running. Hopefully. The package deliver XO. I'm taking the upper to safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Dr. Uh, that Meyer. Dr. Murad, your team is cleared to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Olivier. We're making our way inside now. So three mechs. Okay, so let's. Roger that. Standing by. So they're not dumb. They're kind of checking down yeah. too, to prevent us. Engaging jump jets. So I'm probably in retrospect should have put the Vindy up here. All right, so one down. Enemy out of seven. Destroyed. We can we get so we are going to vigilance you so you take reduced damage. Alright, it was 50-50. I was hoping... I was hoping we could... Waiting for orders. Land that hit. Um, man, that's like an awkward... Awkward thing going on. This is hot. Wow. Nice 50 50 shot, and you nailed it. Yeah, so it's uneven uh, terrain here, which makes it kind of harder. Ooh. Dr. Murad, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. That does not sound like it's going well over there. So we're vigilant, so you're kind of sitting there taking the hits. Engaging jump jets. So we're putting ourselves in harm's way here. That pilot should be panicked. Good to go. Got it. Okay, so taking this off. That's the AC5, which is a lot of damage, so that's why we're taking that out. We're taking out their like highest damage dealing weapons. Uh, as possible. So this commando should truly, truly be dead.
All right, you gonna eject? Yep. Doctor Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. Jenner's coming back to play. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. Oh boy. Oh, heck yes. Evasion kept, though. Scored a critical hit. So we are going to call shot this. Because we'll keep our resolve. Oh, we really needed that to hit. All right, good job, Glitch. Okay, so... And they ejected. Ooh. Kind of surprised. So 66, part of the reason this is so low is the dynamics of this mech. I think it has like a low profile. I don't know how we see that quirk. Uh, but then also it's his gunnery skills. Leave something to be desired. So kind of a, a combination of the two. Oh wow, I thought that would have done you in for good, but uh, maybe not. Look at that small laser. Miss! Oh boy, I dinked around too much. Really? That rock? So we're really just trying not to screw around here? Okay, well... We wasted the AC-5. Think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from gr gr Grim Sybil. I'm gonna carve you up like a roasted pig. That's a big mech. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. Okay. So, first off, we're gonna step back and let them come to us. We're just like kind of sprinting and hiding. Commander, up high. Okay. All right, so now that we So it's not ideal, but again, our goal with this shot is really just to take off his evasion and he kept it, so it didn't quite work out for us. Um
Not only pair his weapons. So once they come around, then they'll be flanking us. So we just need to be very, very careful in in the time it takes them to circle around, so they don't uh, they don't hit us from behind, because that would be very, very bad. Okay, so 66. Okay. Oh boy, that sucks. This could be a mistake. Here comes. Oh no! Jump jets! Did not see that coming. Good to go. Aye, aye. All right. Can we get in that medium laser? We're generating a lot of resolve. Tell me what to shoot. All right, so now I am very nervous that they're gonna pick Shadow. Okay. Yes, Commander. Just going to keep running around creating evasion. Roger. So she alpha, so she's pretty hot. Oof. A little bit of evasion. Man. Okay, so she's going to stay up there. So part of the reason we moved over there is we're doing flanking techniques so we can shoot them from behind. Oh boy. This one's a problem because of the angle. Shadow, we're going to hide you, and we're only going to use your AC-2s. Okay, so we took off their main weapons. Going to keep shooting you in the back. Oof. That shot got past my armor. Roger that. We are just generating a sh ton of resolve. I wonder if something's broken. I've never had that much resolve this early on. Reporting critical hit. So Good to go. I'm not sure. What's up? Time to die. Targeting rear armor. No, right leg destroyed. That sucks. Oh, no. 
And we're going to take a knockdown injury ignored. Heck yes. Who is a boss? Okay, if we take a little heat damage. Alright, so you ejected. So do you see how we kind of flanked? Ow. All right, so she's alphaing. Gonna punch her in the back. She's stressed. We don't want to really core her, ideally, but if we do, that's okay. So this is our left arm. Locking on target. So now she's panicked. Standing by. Come on, Decker. You know it's hot, it. but Okay. I hear ya. We're trying not to totally blow her up. She is definitely panicked. Oh boy. Targeting rear armor. Ooh. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Detected. And she ejected. Wow. You're taking a lot more damage this early. Get near Lance Yargo Commander. We're getting the heck out of here. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Okay, so you're in here. My mech is limping. Engaging oh. No. Warning. No. Heat exceeding recommended. Oh my goodness. Warning. Heat critical. Shutting down. Oh boy. On my way. That's going to cost us more time with shadow out. Reactor online. Roger that. Okay. Copy that. You it's said I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now. Celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this piece is going to fly. Successful. Heck yes. So if I ran out a few more side missions and got Decker the sensor lock, I think we could have... Kind of played at extreme range and not have taken as much damage, but um, man, that was a nail biter. So drop cost fifty six thousand, but we made one almost one point one million. We took more damage, especially with the overheat, but that should be easily repaired. Ooh, wait, I can't go back. I wanted to look at experience. All right, so we only get two pieces of the quick draw. That's fine. And there isn't really any extra weaponry that we're excited about. 
All right, we're on our way to making other mechs. I'm not a big fan of the quick draw, but overall it's a decent mech. It just runs super hot. It's basically like a more robust Jenner tin can with lasers. Seats up. Um, I, in general, prefer a Thunderbolt to a quick draw. I think it's slightly higher tonnage. And I think the Thunderbolts, ac Thunderbolts are actually a little more mobile and heat efficient. So carry a little lighter weaponry, but um, better off. But we'll see. I mean, there are over 100 um, additional mechs that Battletech Extended has. So, you know, if you're watching this series, you probably know, but we are playing with a mod called Battletech Extended 30... Oh, here we go. And the big reveal, Lady Arano is alive. Anyways, I was saying we are playing with a mod, Battletech, uh, extended 3025 to 3053, uh, Commander's Edition. So we extrapolated a timeline and we started in 3049, so there will be clans invading, which we will see on the map as we progress. Maria Centrella. You've done excellent work, Commander Coast, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you again, Shadow Coast, or should I say, Commander. You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come to a shock to you seeing us here on Alloway, seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to be sure you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now with the Argo on its way to Laurentin for repairs, I know. You are everything I remembered and more. None of that matters, Lady Urano. I'm just happy to see you alive. Yes, but how? Forgive me, Lady Urano, but you're supposed to be dead. Lord Madeira, too. The news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown up, blown out of the sky on loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were directorate propaganda. Well-crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations, and keep me apprised of whatever decisions you come to. Lady Centrello's image winks off screen. Lady Centrello was right about the propaganda, Shadow Coast. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case, they very nearly became true. The Directory's assassins pursued us into the frontier in the months following the coup. We had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. I know what that's like. I've been there myself. Where have the two of you been hiding? As far from Directorate space as we could get without leaving the frontier. A miserable little rock, ball of rock called Zathras. It was nasty, brutish planet full of in internecine strife and bloody turmoil. There were power struggles and ma mad nobles, plagues, zealots, and holy wars. Sounds like fun. Sounds like we can make a pretty penny there. So you're saying it was a typical frontier world. More or less living on Cormadir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough life outside of the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything Shadow Coast, including me. Alright, let's talk about why. I imagine you're, you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. 
We have resources and army drawn from all across Frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money, a great deal of money. Uh, I hadn't realized that the Regan Coalition was on such good terms with the Magistracy. It wasn't, not really. But they want to see the Directorate dealt with, and it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They prefer to keep their own hands clean. In light of this, Kamea's claim to the throne is an asset worth paying for. The Rimworld periphery is a powder keg, Shadow Coast. Tensions between the Tarian Concordant and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. If open conflict between the superpowers were to erupt, it would be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistracy wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. And your house and trail is best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the Directorate from the board, and the Magistracy lets tensions between the Federated Sons and Tarians simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Neo Rano? Uh, correctly enough, Mr. Oliveira, but understand that this isn't just about defusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the Directorate is personal. I don't blame you. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. Join me, Shadow Coast, and we will not fail. You already sold me on this, Kamea. I pledge myself and my company to your cause. I was hoping you say that. Of course, you cannot wage war on my behalf while you travel. Restrictions remain in place, so I shall break them. Now that you have pledged yourself to me, I will buy your company's debts, all of them. You'll be free to travel and seek clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the, the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligations to me will be for, forgiven. Your debt wiped clean. So that's one way to do it. Just help restore you to power, and then you'll wipe our debt clean, and I can go do whatever I want. Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight on our behest at a rate that will feel at a rate that will feel quite generous, given the clientele that you're accustomed to. That's right, we're already feeling it with that million. Thanks to House and Trilla, we have money to burn. All right, I'll justify your faith in me, Lady Arano. Together, we'll make Massive Montgomery proud. I'm pleased you feel that way. In truth, I feel that Sir Raju is smiling down on us even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again. And when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Shadow Coast. Our war is about to begin. Lady Rano just bought all of our debt, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ships access. We can travel to more systems now, but we should still steer clear of major states. We don't want it to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Doc Murad and her crew got that wreck ship safely away, they found most of a Centurion in its cargo hold. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think we could return it to service. Swing by the mech bay and check it and order a refit. Alright, it's uh, CN9A models are able to engage in any range, but their damage curve increases as they get closer. We're going to need to do some mech repairs before we continue. Yes, we took damage and we overheated. So here's the deal. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Nothing's broken, so we can just click repair. This one, we did lose a heat sink and a leg. So equipment, heat sink, repair all, confirm. Log and no. Be too hard. You lose anything, so repair. Manage tasks. Wait, it just it just magically repaired it. He was like, I got that spider down. Just a little heat. We'll just wash it down, let it cool off, and you're done. Okay, Centurion. So we can't put jump jets when it's zero out of zero. So this one does not have jump jets. It's a brawler in general assault. We can see its stock load out here. We have a Corian B Tech TNT. So this reduces the minimum range, uh, which is nice. It already apparently has a laser in it. I don't think we added that unless we accidentally added that. All right, so we could go two medium lasers. I I like the I like the idea of an AC ten. We got money to burn. Okay. 
Never mind. We haven't unlocked the black market, so EC2. Gonna need some EC2 ammo. I think we only need one. And, um,. Be kind of a wonky build. We could, <sighs> we could turn this into a true brawler. That's not my de facto play style. So. Gonna kind of go missile boat. Pretty heat efficient. Alright, that's a wonky build. I don't know. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. I don't know if it's worth waiting. Okay, Shadow Coast. We'll kind of keep leveling you up. Mech Warrior training complete. You have to make a decision on Master Tactician. I don't think about glitch. We know she wants breaching shot, so we might also get her bulwark. Orders. Oh, nope, nope, sensor lock. Heck yes. Training confirmed, Commander. Ready for orders. We're really gonna save for this one. Sure footing. Take off your shoes. Alright, so we're gonna Take call this an off. episode. A one star battle or one skull. It's so tempting. It is so tempting. Well, we're we're gonna potentially pick that up in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna call this an episode. I'm not I'm not liking my Centurion. I'm gonna stop work. I I don't think the damage 30, the AC5, oh, we have to stop work. Okay, we're gonna refit and repair. So we're repair, repair all. The AC5 does 45 damage. So the AC10 does either I think 90 damage. All right, what do we need here? We need a heat sink. Repair all. On it. So I would much done. rather, I would much rather put this, oh, 60 damage. It does 60 damage. Kinda like the AC5. Like this stock loadout's pretty good. It just runs super hot. We could forego an LRM ammo and put a heat sink on there to give it a little more heat efficiency. We're gonna hold off. We're gonna hold off. We'll wait. We're gonna go somewhere else and get an AC10. Uh, but we're gonna call this an episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you enjoy these videos, please drop this video a thumbs up and comment. And consider subscribing to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.